What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the Flash Bar by Mint, which is made for Impossible, which is now Polaroid Originals. It's made for Polaroid cameras such as the SX70 model 1 through 3, um, and it's also made for, as it states here, Polaroid box type 1000 camera, which is basically um, that iconic SX70 camera with the rainbow stripe that goes straight down. Um, so let's talk about the box. It's really simple. It sort of looks like an Apple box, you know, like when you get an iPhone. Similar, similar feel. Um, this is the second version of the Mint uh, Flash. There's two versions. I'll show you a comparison. I don't have the other version, but I'll show you a picture of the comparison right now. Okay. Um, so it takes two AA batteries. Uh, it comes with a user manual. It comes with a pink and what they call a chart. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so we'll just call it the neon. This is the neon highlighter looking flash gel. Um, this is a magnet. It attaches to the flash through magnet. I'll show that in a few. Let me just get to the next one. Next one is sort of a magenta highlighter pink color. Um, and then there is the flash itself. Nothing else inside. Usually there's a instruction manual and um, two AA batteries. I highly recommend if you use this to get uh, rechargeable AAA batteries because after about 10 to 15 shots, the flash, the batteries tend to run out. So it's always good to either have um, two extra backup batteries, um, depending on how much you're shooting with flash. I personally don't shoot with flash too much. So two batteries is basically enough for me. Um, so in the current market, when it comes to SX-70 cameras and needing a flash, there's two major flashes that people use. There is this which retails for $89.99. And then there is the old school um, flash bars, which are made, this one is made by Silva, Silva, <laughs> Silvania Blue Dot. Uh, there's also another company that makes them, General Electric. These are the ones that I was using prior. Um, so what these do is they basically the light bulbs explode and emit a flash once the photograph is taken. These are actually awesome. Um, prior to owning the flash bar by Mint, I was using these. Um, these are great to have. You could get them anywhere from eight to twelve dollars on eBay. Um, sometimes they do fail, though. Let me say that right now. Sometimes you do have issues with these. Sometimes they won't fire. Or at times they would take the photo and not fire and you'll get a very um, underexposed image. Okay, so that's enough about these. Um, so the triple A's go in here. <clears throat> um, there's two settings in the back. Now this flash has a what they call a neutral density compensation mode. So it allows you to shoot 600 film. If you want to shoot 600 film, uh, the circle that's clearly empty means it's off. The middle one, which is half full or half empty, is um, for 600 film. Now, the light here is blue when it's charging. It's green when it's ready to fire. And it takes about anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute to fully charge. As you see, it just finished charging. So it's not it's not extremely fast, but it's also not too slow. Um, uh, this button here underneath the power source option is a test. So when you press it, I'm going to press it now. It'll shoot a test and see, let's see how long it takes to uh, cycle back. There you go, about 15 seconds. So the middle one is always for 600 film. If you wanna, if you're shooting SX70 film in your SX70 camera, you will go over to where it's fully shaded, which is the last one. 
Um, in my experience when using this on an SX70 camera, shooting SX70 film, I tend to push my exposure wheel to the darken mode slightly, maybe a quarter, maybe one fourth over towards the darken mode. Um, the flash is pretty strong and I like to ha it not have blown out flash shots. I like it to be sort of contrasty. <clears throat> Um, so let me show you how it mounts on the camera. Here I have my, <coughs> excuse me, my SX-70 sonar. So you open it and there's a slit here. That's where you put it in. For those of you who know how SX-70 models work, that's how it is. Um, and just remember, you have to make sure the light is fully charged. I've heard of a lot of people that have taken shots while it's still blue and you basically waste the shot because as soon as this is plugged in uh, the camera is reading that there's a flash attached so it's going to compensate by taking by changing the aperture and changing um, the shutter speed so it's not going to give you a proper exposure for a non-flash photo um, so you have to make sure this charge is green uh, once the charge is green you're able to take photos um, you are able to close it with, with it. This is how it looks. It looks pretty bulky. It almost looks like a SLR 680 um, Polaroid camera. Um, for those of you that have seen SLR 680 cameras, they also have a similar back here where you could disable or enable the flash. Um, it's probably a little bit bigger than a 680. And it kind of gives you a similar option that 680s give you, being that you could, you could use 600 film. Unfortunately, you cannot use 600 film uh, without flash, which is a bummer, but it's cool that they give you that option. Uh, another cool thing and feature about this camera, I mean about this flash, is that you could use this flash as a master flash to set off other slave flashes or strobes so once you press the button it'll sort of like send a signal for those that know the way strobes work it sends, sends a signal to a slave flash or strobe letting it know to fire so they'll both fire at the same time now the thing about that is it's not always 100 percent accurate because the flash is pretty small and it for some reason doesn't always tend to signal to my flash to fire right away so at times it's inaccurate so that's why it's awesome that they have this um pc sync uh cord over here so you could sync it to your uh your flashes or your strobes or whatever it is you're using um so that pretty much wraps up my uh review on this flash it's great is it worth 89.99 um i think that's a bit overpriced I think they should label it somewhere around $59.99 is more reasonable. But if you think about it, with this flash, you're getting unlimited amounts of uses of um, flash photo photography. When it comes to using something like this, uh, you get 10 shots. Um, so that could add up. And I, I got to tell you, I've used about four of these bulbs. And, you know, that when you tend to use it, it adds up and you you end up telling yourself well I don't really shoot that much flash um, photography you know I don't really need it but at times when you do need it you end up having to get it and you know it'll, it'll cost you so I do recommend if you do a lot of flash stuff or if you put yourself in situations where you might have a 600 um, speed film that you want to shoot uh, and you don't really want to use like an ND filter over it or you're planning on using it with flash, then definitely recommend this. Um, in terms of different, different looks, um, I see that this gives more of a full flash analog look. This is more of a direct flash. Um, so what I mean by that basically is this tends to light up the room depending on the subject, depending on how close you are shooting it, and depending on how you manipulate your exposure wheel. 
Um, they have really similar looks, but you could totally tell the difference between these old school flash bars and these um, and this flash by uh, by mint flash bar by mint. So uh, it's definitely an interesting device, and I do recommend it. Oh, and before I end this review, this is there's a magnet here, and I'm assuming there's a magnet down here somewhere inside the flash. To attach it, you just put it over and it snaps on. Really simple. You take it off, put the next one on. Pretty simple. I uh, personally have not used these yet. I haven't found a reason to. These are, I guess, for sort of if you want to be creative or, you know, sort of like for the party scenes. I have not used this and I do not think I will. Um, although I think if you shoot this specific one with black and white, it'll soften the skin. Sort of like when you use a yellow filter over your lens when you're shooting black and white film. I think this will have a similar effect. Not too sure about that. I have not tried that out yet. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much ends my review. Um, this is how it turns on, how it turns off. Make sure you keep it off when it's not in use, just so you could conserve some battery um, and if you're using this flash a lot, it will tend to heat up. And I'll, by a lot, I mean if you shoot like 15 shots consecutively, the, this will heat up. And that, that's completely normal. Um, I was testing it out earlier with flash strobes, and I, I kept firing, um, I kept test firing it, and it tended to heat up. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up uh, for the flash bar by Mint. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I look forward to doing more instant photography-based reviews on SX-70s, um, Peel Film, which is pretty much dying. Um, I tend to, re I hope to review more instant photography-based things. Um, I want to review the new film that just came out. I'm just waiting to shoot a bit more packs, um, the Polaroid originals that just came out. As of far, in my opinion, it's a great, great, um, it's a great upgrade from what they previously had. It develops faster, the colors are nicer, it's a lot less imperfect, which for some people they do not like, they prefer the imperfect images, but it still has that slight analog film imperfection that you get when you get from shooting instant film, but um, you know, they've, they've really came a long way and um, huge shout out to Polaroid Originals, which was previously known as The Impossible Project. They've came a long way and they have my full support. Um, and that wraps up my review. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content. Peace, guys.